I tried to focus my gaze on the water, but its movements distracted me. He said it was difficult to stare at the moving water and that one had to keep on trying. Finally, I noticed that my mind and my eyes were focusing on the water. The water became slightly different. It seemed to be heavier and uniformly grayish green. I could notice the ripples in it as it moved. And then suddenly, I had the sensation that I was not looking at a mass of moving water, but at a picture of water. What I had in front of my eyes was a frozen segment of the running water. Then they began to acquire a green phosphorescence and a sort of green fog oozed out of them. The fog expanded in ripples and as it moved, its greenness became more brilliant until it was a dazzling radiance that covered everything. I don't know how long I stayed, but Don Juan did not interrupt me. I was immersed in the green glow of the fog. I could sense it all around me. It soothed me. I had no thoughts, no feelings. All I had was a quiet awareness an awareness of a brilliant, soothing greenness. Being extremely cold and damp was the next thing I became aware of. Gradually, I realized I was submerged. I stood up and had such a forceful and loud sneeze that I also farted. Don Juan clapped his hands and laughed. If a body farts, it's alive, he said. He signaled me to follow him and we walked to his house. You did very well at the water. The spirit of the waterhole likes you and helped you all the way. I realized then that I had forgotten to recount my experience to him. I began to describe the way I perceived the water. He did not let me continue. He said that he knew I had perceived the green fog. I felt compelled to ask, how did you know that, Don Juan? I saw you. What did you do? Nothing. You sat there and gazed into the water and finally you perceived the green mist. Was it seen? No, but it was very close. You're getting close. I got very excited. I wanted to know more about it. He laughed and made fun of my eagerness. When you learn to see, there are no longer familiar features in the world. Everything is new. Everything has never happened before. The world is incredible. Why do you say it's incredible, Don Juan? What makes it incredible? Nothing is any longer familiar. Everything you gaze at becomes nothing. Do things disappear? How do they become nothing? Things don't disappear. They don't vanish, if that's what you mean. They simply become nothing, and yet they are still there. How can that be possible, Don Juan? You have the darndest insistence on talking. <laughs>